Okay, so welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to look at some medical tech stock, uh, which we haven't done for a little while. Um, and I think what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking at a firm called Essentia Surgical Inc. Um, this is a robot surgery company. Um, has some interesting potential and some interesting drawbacks. So, yeah, let's get right into it. And I promise that's as bad as the surgery is going to get. I don't want to scare you all away. The idea of using robots in surgery is stuff of science fiction, at least it has been for most of my life. Uh, as time has gone by, the um, use of precision surgical instruments has slowly moved on. Um, if you look back in history, it's actually just flint knives that were used um, up until probably the 1990s um, up to the 2000s. Um, and obviously you had some developments with stainless steels and things like that, but I mean, it, it, it was quite primitive. Um, now these, um, instruments that this company wants to use still use those as the cutting edges, but obviously with a little bit more precision and much more, um, disease control. So less likely to be infected because essentially there's no living organism near to the, um, patient when they're being cut open. Um, keyhole surgery, uh, remote surgeries, all these things, they've been a while developing, I should say, since the 1960s. Um, and this company is trying to devise it in such a way that um, it's the, 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 the surgeons are moving further and further and further away from the actual person that's doing it. Now, there are plenty of companies out there that are doing something similar, uh, but this is one that, that keeps coming up on my, um, how can I put it? keeps coming up on my searches so if i'm over googling potential um tech companies of any kind the census does come up on there share prices aren't horrifically high um they're it's not quite a penny stock but it's damn close to it um and like all tech companies it's still developing it's still struggling there in the background so um but we concentrate on the strengths. We'll, we'll, do, we'll just think of it from a point of view that it it's, um, has a potential of taking over the operating theatre, of taking over dental practices, of taking over um, various um, other aspects of the, the surgical field. And as a company goes, it's had no mishaps that would make me worry that being under their instruments would be potentially dangerous for me. Of course, this is where the problem begins because its technology isn't so unique that it will be putting somebody out of a job. Um, don't ask me why I put this metaphor of two nurses kissing. I don't know. It just came up. Uh, but going back to the company, um, it's a tech company. It's in through cash as all and It's going to be struggling for profit at a point when uh, the whole world economy is crashing down. Um, so does it have a longevity to it? Potentially. Um, the weakness of the company is, is, is simply that it is very, it's weird. It's niche within what it is, which is basically make, make you think that it, essentially it would um, mean that nobody would want to invest in it. And that is a, a potential problem. But moreover, it's not hugely that far of a leap from where it is to where it's going to. It's essentially it's like going from um, a hybrid car to an electric car rather than going from a petrol car to an electric car. It's not that far in advance from what is already there. So the potential is, is it going to be in the future? Will we get to a point where they can create uh, a system which is AI driven along with these robots that all you'd require is the surgeons to sit on top and monitor the whole thing that's a long way away I hope um, AI doing surgery is quite a, a scary thought but it's there um, but at the moment it doesn't have that it isn't that at all 
So let's speculate on what size of a company that would be if that were true. If you're removing all your surgeons <clears throat> or you're limiting them, you're removing nurses or at least you're limiting them and the whole thing is done um, via automation. Well, this is what's been done all over the world. So you go into any shop of a certain size, you're going to have self-service tills. You go into um, garages now, you're going to have people basically just plugging computers into cars to see what's going on. It's not unrealistic to think that the um, medical world will go down this route. And so companies that are entering this with the equipment and the technology to make those changes and to exploit those changes and be ahead of the game um, are great for investment, I would have thought is a sense as one of those companies looking at what they're doing looking at the sales it's still not there yet it's the equivalent of a beta company i think um although it's been around for a while and i've no doubt that the technicians and engineers are ahead of the game and great at what they're doing i don't think there's enough products in there um being used worldwide for it to be a huge investment and I think if this were to, were to ever become a bigger company, if its technology were to be taken on by other people, um, I think the company would end up being bought out by a bigger whale somewhere down the line. <clears throat> I think another company would come in and go, well, we'll, we'll have that. Um, and they would basically own the market. I don't think you're going to see this as based an on the shelf thing. I think basically the surgery would become an all encrypted, all, all engulfed mono culture within the health profession. Um, and um, surgeons would basically probably not be there on the ground. But that's not where this company is at the moment. Um, it's still in that halfway point between the AI and just the surgery. The, the surgeons are still there using it. Their technology is very precise it's very on the ball it's um just not distinct from everybody else yet so this is interesting what would be the threats to this company <clears throat> well if you think about how large the medical profession is um it governs a huge 15 to 20 percent of the world economy um and for this to stay where it is, it basically means that the medical profession has to exist in a very simple, very traditional, cut it out, throw it away, mend and repair, physically um, attitude towards the body. Whereas there's two other directions where it's going in, where you have chemical intervention from pharmaceutical companies, and you also have stem cell technology coming in that would allow the body to repair itself naturally that's where <clears throat> i think i think that's where the greatest profit would be so if i were to throw my money in thinking that all three had the potential i would want to go down the road that had the simplest explanation and that would be the stem cell that would be chemical intervention robots carry a lot of um legal ramifications when they go wrong um whereas chemical stuff and big pharma let's be honest they can get away with far more than they really need to but if a robot basically accidentally slips and takes a limb off everyone's going to know about it people are slightly poisoned they tend not to be so is a census a goodbye um let's have a look so we have very low share prices we have no dividends and we have a technology which is already out there to some degree um this is just basically the next evolutionary step and it's a midpoint between two other things for me i think um as a punt yes it's it, it, these if you're looking at tech companies they're always going to be penny shares there's only going to be small one pound one dollar shares that's worth investing money in just on the punt of where it could go um will you ever get your rewards back will you get your money back um potentially will you get dividends back never never happens with these companies the thing that annoys me the most with all of them um will this have longevity 
not in itself, but it will be as part of another company, I would imagine, um, as technology develops. So it's definitely worth, um, but don't forget to go look it up yourself. Uh, always invest and never stupidly. Thank you.